Today we have Janmashtami festival lecture by His Divine Grace Shila Prabhupada given in September of 1969 in Hamburg, Germany. Lecture on Janmashtami given by His Divine Grace I.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on September 4th 1969 in Hamburg, Germany. Sri Guran Vaishna Avidya Karma Sangha Anya Sitya Satirisha. This is a verse from Vishnu Pura. It is stated there that Vishnu Shakti Para, the energy of the Supreme Law is spiritual. <coughs> energy and the energetic, they are non different. Just like the sun sign is the energy of the sun glow. But the quality of sun sign and the sun glow is the same. It is not different. <clears throat> the sun sign is bright, illuminating, hot. So similarly, we can understand the sun glow the temperature may be very high, but the quality is the same. <clears throat> so, Vishnu Shakti Parapra, God has got one energy. That energy is spiritual energy. And Kshetra Nakya Tathapara. And the same energy is manifested in another form which is called Kshetra or marginal energy. Or the energy in which we living creatures are acting. And Abhidya Karma Sangha Anya Titya Shakrusha. And besides these energies, there is another energy which is Abhidya, ignorance. Karma Sangha. And it is based on fruitive activities. Anya. Anya means besides these two energies, spiritual energy and the marginal energy, living entity, there is another energy which is called avidya. Avidya means ignorance. And karma sangha, and in that energy, uh, one has to enjoy his, the fruit of his own labor. This is the material world. This material world is also energy of Krishna or God. But here ignorance prevails. Ignorance is prominent. Amidya. Ignorance. Therefore, one has to work. Practically, one hasn't got to work. But because he is in, one is in avidya, ignorance, <coughs> therefore, uh, he has to work. <coughs> avidya, karma, sangya, anya, tritya, svatthirsa. So actually, there is one energy, the spiritual energy, 
Krishna God is the Holy Spirit and the energy is emanating from Him. That is also spiritual. Shakti Shakti Matu Agrinna. In the Vedic language, we understand that the Shakti Man or the energetic Krishna and the energy, they are non different. So this material energy is also non different from Krishna. In other words, of Vedic language, it is said, Sadvam Khalidam Brahma. Everything is Brahma. In the Bhagavad Gita also, Lord Krishna says that Maya Tatamidam Sadvam. Sadvam means all. Idam. This manifestation, this cosmic manifestation, whatever you are experiencing, uh, Krishna says that I am expanded as this cosmic manifestation. Maya tatamidam sadbam abhakramurti. This impersonal feature, Abba. Masthani Sarva Bhutani Nahan Tesha Vastitaha. Everything is resting on me, or everything is expansion of myself. Nahan Tesha Vastit, but I am not there. This philosophy. Achinta Vedave, simultaneously one and different, is our philosophy inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, although it is in the Vedanta Sutras. So, everything is simultaneously one and different from the Supreme Law. But there are two classes of philosophers. One class says that God and the living entities are different, and there is another philosopher, monist philosopher, they say uh, God and the living entities are one. So this Asinta Vedavet philosophy expresses that God and the living creatures, they are simultaneously one and different. They are one in quality. Just like the energy and the energy, the sun glows and the sun shines. In quality, in sunshine there is heat, there is illumination, light. In the sun globe also there is heat, there is illumination. But the degrees are quite different. Uh, you can uh, bear the heat and illumination of the sunshine but you cannot go to the uh, sun glow, or you can bear the heat and temperature there. The scientist says there's so many million miles away. If somebody goes, or some planet goes near the sun glow, it will immediately burn into ash. Similarly, uh, God and our self, Krishna, a living entity, they are qualitatively one. But quantitatively, we are very minute. Anu. Yes, smaller than the atom. 
Nowadays, there is atomic theory. Uh, we can see the atoms within the holes of the windows when there is focus of sunlight. Uh, that is called prasarenu. Prasarenu means uh, six atoms combined together, then it is visible. Otherwise, atom is also not visible with our naked eyes. Uh, there is atomic theory, Parman Bhat, in Vedic literature also. Uh, and Bhagavad says that the scientist may be one day able to count how many atoms are there within this universe. This is not possible, of course, but it is theoretically the Vedic Srimad Bhagavad says that it may be possible someday by scientific research one can count the, how many atoms are there within this cosmic manifestation. Still it is not possible to know the Supreme Personality of Godhead by our ordinary uh, sense perception. Krishna uh, or God is not uh, persuaded by your material sense. It is not such. Atha. Therefore, Sri Krishna Namadi, Atha Sri Krishna Namadi, Namadi. Samadhi means beginning from his name, because we uh, try to understand Krishna beginning uh, by chanting his holy name, Hare Krishna. Then after chanting Hare Krishna, when our heart is purified, then we can understand uh, his form, Satchidananda Vidra. So either his name or his form or his quality or his paraphernalia or his activities, and none of these can be understood by your material sense. It is not possible. In the sense, uh, then how it is understood? Seven mukhi jivhado swami was suratam. When we take to the transcendental loving service of the Lord, then the Lord reveals Himself. Uh, we cannot understand. It is easy. Therefore, uh, Sevanukhi is Jivhadu. Jivha means tongue. The first business of us is to engage the tongue in the service of the law. Uh, how you can engage the tongue in the service of the law? by chanting and glorifying his name, pain, quality, form, paraphernalia, such times. This is the business of the tongue. Sevan Mukhi Jivhadu. When the tongue is engaged, gradually all other senses are also engaged in the service of the tongue. The tongue is the most important sense within our body. Therefore, for controlling our senses, it is recommended that one should control first of all the tongue. We have to learn the things in this song. Tar madhe jiva vati lobho maya shudurma. 
our present conditional state is like this. Sarira avidya jar. We are packed up in the network of this material body. It is just like a fish is caught and within a net. Similarly, we are caught up by this network of this material body. Not only this body, we are changing this net in various stages of life. There are eight million four hundred thousand of forms of this network. This is a network of ignorance. Abhidha ja. Abhidha means ignorance. Sariya Abhidha jal jarandriya tahe kaal. And this network, my imprisonment within this network of ignorance is being continued on account of these dangerous senses. So, out of these dangerous senses, uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, the tongue is the most dangerous. Uh, tongue is the most dangerous. The tongue, if we cannot control the tongue, then he, the tongue will oblige me to take different types of bodies, one of them. If I am very much fond of satisfying my tongue by flesh and blood, then nature, material nature, will, be, will give me facility to test uh, flesh and blood fresh and give me a body of the child. Uh, if I do not discriminate of eating, <coughs> then material nature will give me a body just like a hog when we have to accept as our food, stool. So, we are so-called materially suffering and enjoying according to this body. Therefore, uh, this body, this human form of body, is a great opportunity because God realization begins by uh, engaging with tongue. Seven Mukhi is Jivadu by engaging with tongue and the loving service of the law. One can make advance in Krishna consciousness, ultimate realization of the, the plan. So this plan in the human body can be engaged. In other body, in the cat's body, dog's body, tiger's body, tiger may be very powerful animal. Uh, no animal is powerful or better than human beings that we accepted. Uh, so this human form of life uh, is a great boon to the uh, living entity who is traveling through the cycle of birth and death perpetually changing different sorts of body. Here is the opportunity human form of body, uh, we can utilize the tongue properly and get out of this class. Sevan Muthehi Jivadu. So, Seva, Seva means service. Jivadu Ado, beginning from the tongue. So if we can Keep our tongue engaged, always chanting uh, Hare Krishna, Munta, because Krishna 
this sound is not different from Krishna. Krishna is absolute. Nothing is different from him. Krishna and Krishna's name is not different. In the material sense, everything is different. I myself is different from this body. I am not this body. But Krishna is not like that. Krishna and Krishna's body is the same. Abhijanamti mana mudha manasin tanu maasthi. Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, rascals and fools, they derive at me because I appear, I have come, appear as a human being. They are thinking just like I am ordinary human being. Param bhavam ajananta. Uh, these rascals do not know uh, what is my influence and what I am. Param bhavo. Uh, what is my nature? They do not know. Without knowing me, they consider uh, Krishna is an ordinary human being. Abhijanam se, mura. This very particular word has been used. Mura. Mura means left hand. So, in spite of this warning, there are so many rascals passing as big scholars. Uh, they say like this, when uh, there is order of Krishna, that is surrender unto me, as uh, the rascals comment, it is not to Krishna, but uh, the unborn spirit which is within Krishna. He does not know that Krishna is not different from his body. Krishna is not different from his name. Krishna is not different from his face. Anything pertaining to Krishna is Krishna. They are monies. They are philosophizing that oneness. But as soon as they come to Krishna, immediately they be why Krishna is different from his uh, body. Our body, Krishna's body is different. Prabhupada Sri Krishna Namadi, so Krishna's name and Krishna is not different. Therefore, as soon as my tongue touches the holy name of Krishna, that means immediately it associates with Krishna. Thus, if you constantly keep yourself associated with Krishna by chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna, then just imagine how you are being easily purified simply by this process, chant. Jivhadu, engage in the tongue, in chanting. And your tongue wants very palatable desire to taste. So Krishna is very kind. He has given you hundreds and thousands of palatable desires, remnants of food stuff eaten by him to eat. In this way, if you simply make it a determination, that I shall not allow my tongue to test anything which is not offered to Krishna, and I shall engage my tongue always chanting Hare Krishna, then all perfection is at living in your All perfection. Two simple things. Don't eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. That's our, our Krishna prasadam has so variegated, nice varieties. The variety is the mother of enjoyment. How much enjoyment to want with your tongue? Oh. You can have simply by eating Krishna prasadam. And the more your tongue is purified 
the more you read it, he chant in a Hare Krishna mantra. Read it. Anandam Muti Vardhanam. It is stated by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that it increases the ocean of bliss, transcendental bliss. Ocean does not increase. We have no experience within this material world. If ocean would have increased, uh, then all the lands would have been swallowed up many long, long years. Ocean does not increase. But this ocean, transcendental bliss, is increased. Uh, some of you must have uh, experienced those who are actually very things. Uh, the authorities like Rupa Goswami, he says that uh, what I shall chant with one tongue, if I would have millions of tongues, then I could chant a little more. And what I shall hear with two years, he is expecting, he is aspiring to have millions of years and trillions of tongues to release this chanting Hare Krishna. But that is another stage, of course, when this chanting will be so melodious that we shall try to have more years and more tongues to utilize it. Tātasya-kṛṣṇa-nāvādi namavir dāyam indre. By our present senses, we cannot understand what is Krishna, or what is Dā, what is his name, what is his form, what is his quality. Therefore, uh, immediately if we try to understand Krishna by his picture of Krishna is embracing Radharani or the gopis with a mistake. Because unless our senses are purified, we shall accept Krishna and Radharani as ordinary uh, young boy or girl and their dealings. But actually it is not. It is pure. Chaitanya Chaitanyakar has distinguished that the loving affairs of the gopis with Krishna and ordinary these lustful dealings of human beings, uh, there is a gulf of difference. He compares that the gopis' love with Krishna is gold. And our so-called love here is iron. As there is difference between gold and iron, similarly there is difference between the loving appearance of gopis with Krishna and this mundane uh, so-called lusty appearance between man and woman, a boy and man. It is never equal. Therefore, these present senses, these impure senses, contaminated senses cannot understand Krishna. Therefore, we should follow this principle. Even Muti Hiji Bhadu, first of all engage chanting Hare Krishna. There is Radha and Krishna. Hara is Radha. And Krishna, there is. But don't try to understand by the present senses, but simply chant their holy name, Hare Krishna. Then, Chitadarpana Mahajanam, when your, the dust on the mirror of your heart will be clean, and it will clean, I simply chant Chitadarpana Mahajanam, Bhavu Mahadavarli Nidvapanam, and there will be no more any material condition. That is the next step. If you chant Hare Krishna mantra without any offense, then immediately the stage will be that you are free from all material anxiety. 
that is the test. How I am advancing in chanting will be tested. How far you are free from material enjoyment. Chita Dattana Mahajanam Bhava Mahadava. Then real life begins. So long you are perturbed by material disturbances, you should know that your spiritual life has not begun. This is confirming everywhere. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma Nasusati Nakamsati. Prasanna. Bhagavad Gita says, when one is Brahma realized, Brahma realized means one who understands that I am not this body, I am pure spirit soul, eternal, that is eternal Krishna. Simply understanding that I am not this body and spirit soul is not enough. That is not sufficient knowledge. Of course, that is good. That is just on the marginal state between matter and spirit. But you have to transcend completely this material existence and come to the platform of spiritual understanding. So, for that purpose, you have to go farther after Brahma realizes. Brahma, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. If you are actually Brahma realized, the symptom will be that you are always dry. No anxiety. Anxiety, why everything is very nicely discussed in Srimad Bhagavad. Bhang Dityadi Nive Satasyat. When you forget Krishna and God or God, and if you think there is something else than Krishna, then we are afraid. And those who are convinced and we are souls that there is nothing but Krishna. So what is the cause of fear? Yes. Therefore those who are pure devotees, they are not disturbed in, in most uh, distress condition of life. What they think? They think, Tattenu Kampa. My Lord, it is your great mercy that you have put me into this distress condition. Tattenu Kampa, Susanik Samana. Uh, so in the distress condition, the devotees take it an opportunity that I have got a very nice opportunity to remember God constantly. Krishna, you are so kind that you have given me in this system. So this Krishna consciousness is very nice. If we try to make progress on this line, we feel even that means sit a guru nabi dukhina na vichalate Bhagavad Gita. If one is situated in Krishna consciousness, even in the terrible situation, fearful situation, he is not afraid. Just like Pulla Nama, you see. Hmm? Pulla Maharaj, the thighs are so God, his father uh, starts at him like any. But you are not afraid. You are not afraid. This is the Krishna consciousness state. Uh, the boy is not afraid. Even in such torture condition, when his father uh, challenged him, Prahlad, uh, with whose strength you are so powerful that you do not care for me. Immediately answer, my dear father, by whose power you are talking like that? So, Krishna consciousness is so nice that even one is put into the terrible condition of distress, he is not 
सकता है नारायण पराशर में वेर एन मेनी वर्सेस लाइक दैट इज एन कोट हंड्रेड नारायण पराशर वे ना कुतस्तन विभज इफ वन बिकम्स कृष्ण कांस इज नॉट एफ्रेड एनी कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ ना कुतस्तन विभज सर्व अवर्ग नरकेश्वरी इफ इज पुट इन टू दल और इन हेवन और इन स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड एंड एनी वर्ल्ड इज एट सुल्लाख दर्शन ई थिंग्स एवरीथिंग इज ऑल दिस है आइडर यू कुड मीन दी हेल आर हेल्प नॉट डी फॉर दैट यू आर दिस है बिकॉज ही इज ऑल इज कृष्णा चांटिंग एंड इट इज ना कृष्णा इज ऑल इज 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 सो वेल द कॉज ऑफ बीइंग अफ्रेड एंड दिस प्लेस इज नॉट गुड दिस प्लेस इज वेरी गुड नो वेन एवर कृष्णा इज देयर इज वेरी दैट्स ऑल so we have to practice and train the tongue very nicely seven mukhe ji bhavadu same was prasta and the mark uh, our tongue is engaged in this in a loving service of krishna uh, it is very nice service it simply chant and speak krishna prasad very difficult service everyone will accept oh yes but unfortunately everyone does not accept thank you chaitanya mahaprabhu jai bhagat eta dishi tab pita bhagavan mama ji my dear lord you are so kind that uh, you have approached me And by consuming the sound, uh, or you are always with me, it can be. If I say then Krishna is always with me. If I reject, then that is the signal. Krishna is everywhere. Means as soon as we accept Krishna, is immediately. And as soon as we reject, ah, he is far, far away. So, Krishna can be with us very easily simply by this chanting or engaging the tongue in his service. But Caitanya Mahaprabhu recommended this process, or he inaugurated this process in this age. Although it is uh, not new system, but he specially introduced because his incarnation is so. He reclaimed the fallen souls of this age. Before advent of Krishna, he still be planning. As soon as Krishna is dead, by time came. This is the plan of the demon to kill God. Uh, it is God is dead. That is also killing. All sort of killing. There is no God. I am God. These are all different. Processes of trying to kill the God is never killed. Rather, they are killed. There is a whole history everywhere. Is that same as to perhaps create it in that? No. Then it is in this one called the demon. Yes, demon means when when he is uh, forgotten, when has lost his sense. That is demon. Demon means Maya Apurita Gyana. Maya, by the influence of Maya, the true aspect of knowledge is taken. Anyone who is trying to establish it that there is no God, he is there. Yes. 
There are so many philosophers, so many ethics, so many scientists. Their only business is to deny God. They are demons. Yes. That is their their individual complete choice. That is ignorance. Yes. Aparita jnana means just like a madman. For the timing, his natural knowledge is taken away. Crazy. What do you mean by crazy? For the timing, his knowledge is taken away. Similarly, uh, when a living entity is in that position, as, as somebody has taken out his knowledge, and that is demonic condition. But he can be established again in knowledge. Just like a crazy man is sent mental disorder to hospital for treatment, again he comes as a sane man. Similarly, the demons are just like crazy men. Even they are treated with Krishna consciousness, they can be reverted to their own condition. So this is temporary. This demonic nature is temporary due to the contact with Maya. Therefore, the whole business is how to get out of the classes of Maya. Then there is no more demonic nature. It is artificial, a superficial. It comes and goes. As it comes artificially, so it can go on. And the driving method is this Krishna comes. Hmm. Maya is temporary and not only that it is of Krishna's energy, but Krishna is spiritual energy. Yes, spiritual energy. That is eternal. So we are, uh, due to our ignorance, we have been uh, very mysterious to the temporary situation of Maya, and we have forgotten the eternal position. This is our present condition of life. Now this Krishna consciousness movement means this treatment 